Um, I grew up in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, I was born in Alaska, grew up in Washington State. Um, and then I came out here for college um, and I went to UConn. I didn't really play a lot of other sports growing up. We did kind of the youth softball, um, I think, and I did youth basketball for a little bit. Um, and then I came out here and played at UConn. And then, um, you know, after, after graduating from UConn, I took some time off and then I went back and played semi-pro in the US when they were trying to start a semi-pro league. Um, I did that until I was into my 30s. I was the grad assistant at Springfield College for two years um, when they won the new Mac in 2009. Um, and then, it might have been 2008, but. Um, and then I was an assistant here for a couple years under Pete Managia. Um, and he taught me a lot about mentorship and like that's just the coaching part of it. Um, and then I took over as the head coach in 2014. <music> So as we start recruiting, you know, I get to know these, these students a lot of times by the time they're 16. And then I see them when they graduate at 22, 23. And that's a really cool span of, of age. They, they change a lot, they evolve, they really kind of come into their own, um, make a lot of big decisions, but they just, it's an enjoyable time to, to watch them develop. A lot of things, you know, the, the volleyball is a big piece. Um, but we also look at how they interact with their teammates as much as possible. We ask, we want them to be academically strong. Um, we want them to be proactive and we really enjoy having um, some, you know, like different, either regional diversity, any type of diversity, because it just makes for a stronger, a stronger program and a really cool experience for our roster, our athletes, um, and, and it, it contributes a lot to the university community. Division three is really cool. Um, the mission statement for Division three um, allows them to do a ton of different stuff. We have athletes now who are starting clubs, joining clubs. They they work. They um, can take a lot of different courses. They can load courses. They can um, study abroad if they want to. You know, they they really get to do a ton of different stuff. Um, and volleyball gets to be a big piece of their experience, but they get to have a true university experience because we have some limitations in the spring. It also, I think, encourages them to develop, um, you know, that, that discipline of, hey, coach isn't dragging me into the gym. I'm going into the gym because I want to. Um, and I think that, that it's a great way for them to, to develop that type of self-discipline. In season, we are, um, we practice a little bit later in the day. We practice around 4.30 usually for about two hours. Um, so we'll add lift before that um, a couple days a week, depending on um, our game schedule that week. We usually play two to three matches a week, um, midweek and then two on a weekend. Um, out of season, it depends on the day, it depends on the time of year. Um, you know, a lot of times they'll work with our strength coach and set up times to go in um, either as a team or as a small group and lift individually. But the bulk of their time during, during the day is just classes. We try really hard not to do anything during the day um, that would, you know, that they would feel like they had to schedule around or whatever. So they're, um, it gives them a chance to do their student teaching, internships, anything else they might want to do during the day. A lot of those liberal arts skills, those, those curriculum skills that we talk about, communication, how to work, um, how to work with others from different backgrounds, how to um, address conflict when it comes up. Comes up. Um, a lot of times though, it really comes down to communication. We talk a lot about communication, how to prioritize what's important, um, their values that, uh, you know, as a team we have our values, but as individuals they do too. We hope they align as much as possible by helping them evaluate, you know, what's important, what can we, um, what do they have some sort of control over, what can they influence, what is something where they have to control their reaction versus instead of actually controlling the situation. So, but communication and being able to work with a lot of different people is probably the best thing that athletics can teach. <music>